And today we have this Western Digital Easy Store external hard disk drive. And I believe this one is a four terabyte drive right here. Yep. And what a client told us is one day they try to plug it in and nothing was happening. Basically a dead hard drive, not good. So let's try plugging it in. We're gonna use one of our USB connections, not the clients because most likely that one is possibly a bad one. And this one is for sure a good working one. So let's see what happens. Okay, and no light on the LED. That's not good. We're not seeing any kind of activity and nothing's happening in our PC as well. It's not getting warm. It's not, it's not even spinning. So this is completely dead. Okay, so we did try a different adapter and it doesn't seem to be powering out the hard drive. So most likely there's something wrong with the hard drive itself. And we will definitely have to open this up to see what the issue is. So let's go ahead. We're gonna carefully try to open it up from the edges, right where the corner is, and work your way through. Once you hear the little clip sound, you're pretty much good to go. Just keep on going, keep on going from the sides just a little bit carefully, making sure you hear those clipping noises. And just like that, we're almost done. And there we go. Now we see the drive itself. We carefully just remove it, not to damage anything else. Just got to be a little bit patient with it and just apply just a slight amount of force. Now that we have the hard drive out, we see the LED connection right here and that's where it should be blinking if there's any activity. So let's go ahead and just try to plug it in once more and see what happens. Okay. And still there's no activity. We're not getting any LED lights. It's not getting warm. It's still not spinning. Most likely this is a problem with the PCB board. So we will have to remove that and check that out. Okay, stop right there. So let's go ahead and remove the PCB board. We're gonna use this screwdriver right here and just remove all those screws from the PCB. This little connection right here connects directly to the hard drive itself. So we need to inspect the board. First, let's do a quick visual inspection and see if we can find any damaged components, any burnt components, or anything that's been knocked off. So we can see here, everything looks to be fine. Everything looks to be clean. We're not seeing any obvious damage to the board. So let's go ahead and just check the uh, USB connection. Maybe that might be a problem. And it looks fine. Let's see if maybe any of those connections are loose. I'm gonna just use this. So let's test the connections. We're just gonna carefully just touch a little bit, see if it moves around. It looks to be very solid and looks to be healthy. Even the port looks very clean, no issues there. So there's definitely some kind of short happening into this board for sure. But we need a test to see which is causing the short. So let's bring out the uh, voltmeter. All right, so let's go ahead and try to check that. We're getting a beep from there. We're getting also a beep from this one. And let's try the other one. And we're also getting a beep from that one. Okay, so most likely there is a short somewhere around here. 
We're not really 100% sure which one it could be, so let's just go ahead and try to take one of them out and see if we're getting the same. So let's go ahead and put some a little bit of flux on that. And we're going to use some hot air. And that should just come off, just like that. See if we gain the same heat. Yep. Now that we have the component out, let's see if we're getting any beeps. Yeah, there we go. And that one's also beeping as well. So let's go ahead and take out the other one. We're going to heat that up and it comes off just like that. And let's go ahead and test this one. And we're not, we're not getting any beats from this one. All right, so let's go ahead and replace those. I'm going to add a little bit of solder to that. That's enough. We're going to put some captain's tape just so we don't burn anything else. And we carefully just align the component, heat it up, and sold this back in, perfectly aligned. Just like that. All right, let's clean up some of the uh, excess flux with a light brush and a little bit of alcohol. All right, looks good. All right, now let's go ahead and try to put this back and let's see what happens. All right, so let's put back all the screws in making sure everything is properly connected and everything's pushed down. All right, now let's go ahead and connect the cable in and look at that. We're getting a LED light glowing we also heard the chime on the windows and we can also hear the dry spinning and on top of that the board is getting a little bit warm which is a definitely a good sign so now we will definitely have to recover the data before anything else will probably be failing on this because most likely there's something that caused this short something that would have probably destroyed those components and we don't know if anything else might have been damaged inside there are multiple heads in there and a short could definitely cause those heads to go bad so let's quickly just recover those data and let's call the customer up and let her know all right thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe